Alrighty, guys, it is Qua Man here today, and I have a new Dragon Ball Z segment that I'm introducing as I have discovered with Geekdom 101 that we have a plethora of fun facts of Dragon Ball that a lot of people might not know about. And for those of you who know, it's nice to share and to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. So, in this video today, Geekdom and I are just going to start off our series by discussing 10 interesting facts about the Dragon Ball series and there's no limitations, there's no such thing as canon or non-canon in this, this ranges from toys, card games, real life facts, anything related to Dragon Ball, we will be presenting it in these upcoming videos and in this video today. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into this video. So Geekdom, what is the first fact that you would like to share for our fans? The first fact I've got for all of our fans and all of the Dragon Ball fans out there comes from last year, 2000. 2014, as of the recording of this video, Toriyama revealed in an interview in one of the full color Dragon Ball mangas from Japan that we never got here as of today that Dr. Garo based the design of Android 16 on his son, who was a high ranking Red Ribbon Army officer who was killed by a stray bullet. Well, the first fact that I would like to share with you guys is actually something dealing with the four main sagas of Dragon Ball. And it's quite interesting enough to say that out of the four main villains in Dragon Ball, ranging from Vegeta, Frieza, Cell, and Majin Buu, each of the four main villains in the Dragon Ball Z series has undergone a transformation with Vegeta turning into a great ape, Frieza transforming several times, Cell attaining his perfect form, and Majin Buu going through various transformations as a whole. In the Dragon Ball manga, the Viz translation, Frieza states while fighting Goku that nobody had ever heard him besides his parents, implying that he has a mother. But there are two inconsistencies here. Number one, in the episode of Bardock Q&A interview, Toriyama stated that Frieza was born from King Cold's asexual reproduction, quote, he was born of his father alone. In the Japanese language, there is no plural form of the word parents, therefore one could understand why the translators at Viz were confused. But we have no evidence to prove that Frieza has a mother, and based on Toriyama's statement, he probably does not, and he was born only of King Cold. Over the years, it has always been debated who was stronger between Android 17 and 18, as there was never any mention of who was stronger throughout the Dragon Ball Z series, not counting Super Android 17. However, in one manga panel from Volume 30 at the end, it was stated that Android 18's power was suppressed compared to Android 17, stating and implying that Android 17 was stronger. In the Harmony Gold dub of Dragon Ball, which predates both the Ocean and Funimation dubs, Karin's name is Whiskers the Wonder Cat. Those of you fans of DBC Abridged will definitely recognize that. In a Dragon Ball full color interview, Akira Toriyama was asked about how Bobbity was born. According to Toriyama, Bibbidi, the father of Bobbity, can create doppelgangers of himself to accomplish tasks hard for one person to do. He also said that Bobbity was more of a doppelganger instead of an actual child. Alternatively, the more doppelgangers created leads to the weaker magical powers. However, since Bibbidi died, Bobbity regained all of his magical powers as a whole. King Piccolo in the original Japanese version was named Piccolo Daimao, which translates to Great Demon King Piccolo. But because of Funimation's belief that Western audiences were sensitive to any religious connotations, they took out references to demons and gods. And thus, Kami, whose name literally translates to God in Japanese, was renamed the Guardian of Earth, and his name Kami was literally reused in the English version, which is the only time that they actually took a Japanese word and made it into a name. In another Dragon Ball full color interview, Akira Toriyama has stated that he was inspired by Astro Boy when he was loosely creating Goku's hairstyle. The original Ocean slash Saban dub of Dragon Ball Z was so heavily edited down that the episode count dropped from 67 to 53 for the first two sagas, which is why some fans list Dragon Ball Z as having 276 episodes versus the actual 291 number. 
Thankfully, this was rectified when Funimation redubbed those episodes starting in 2005 with the Ultimate Uncut Editions, and fans could finally see the complete unedited footage of those episodes for the first time in North America. In the Super Android 13 movie, the three main androids have been shown to depict racial stereotypes. Android 14's appearance is similar to what would be known as a Native American, and his stoic, quiet personality highlights that stereotype. For Android 15, due to his darker skin tone, lips, clothing, and voice, he appears to take on the stereotype of an African American pimp. For Android 13, based on his voice and attitude, he represents the racial stereotype of a white American redneck that even Trunks points out. Pitiful humans. War, segregation, hatred. Is that what you've done with your free will, boy? Don't you lecture me with your $30 haircut. Goku dies. We'll see you, red ribbon redneck. This is only shown in the actual Funimation dub. However, there is no negative racial intent in this video. So, guys, that has been our 10 main facts of the video today, and I will always throw in an extra bonus fact about something a little bit more subjective and outside of the box about the Dragon Ball series. And in this interesting bonus fact, Akira Toriyama actually states that his favorite fight in the Dragon Ball series is actually Goku versus Tien. Now, for those of you who know, there's actually been two fights between Goku and Tien where we have the young adult slash late teen Goku versus Tien, and we also have the kid Goku versus Tien fight. However, Geekdom actually has his theory on which fight he thinks Akira Toriyama is referring to. Well, I believe, Kwan Man, that he's referring to the one from the 22nd Tenkaichi Budokai, which is the finals of the tournament, where it's Kid Goku against Tien. I think he's talking about that one because that was the finals of the tournament. That was the first kind of truly epic fight that took up multiple episodes, and it was also a great character arc for Ten Shin Han. So I believe he's talking about that one. I don't think he's ever clarified which one. Alrighty then, so that's been our 10 facts for today, guys. I hope you guys learned something new. We're gonna do these from time to time just in case you guys ever have anything that you'd like to share. And if you guys have some interesting facts, please PM me in a private message, Twitter me, or share any type of facts. Not in the comment section because I don't like giving away spoilers for future videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more episodes of Dragon Ball Fun Facts. So most importantly, over everything else, what geeked them? Rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, as I always say, to have a great day, guys.